From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Philadelphia Eagles. The kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz, has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Zach Ertz, solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now Wentz throwing on second down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. On the ball! And we're good, we're good! Great, great. Great 15, great 15! Wentz to throw on second down. He's going to go for a big play down. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. So Brees going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 21. So after the INT, it's Breeze. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. The ball still fighting for tackles. They give him a gain of 37. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards the victory. Smith catches left side. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
in need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in there. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Mike Bennett in there to drop it for a loss of nearly 20 yards. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. To throw, it's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Go left side, taken in by Meredith. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The 12 yards and time and picking up the first. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big-time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I took my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can get to the end. makes a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two yard line. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches just say, son, you can darn near lay down near the end zone and get in. <laughs> Give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. From the gun, it's Breeze. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Cameron Meredith, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints have taken the early lead. What's good on the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. Lutz now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Spinning away, and he's up past the twenty to the twenty-two yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Four down, four down. 
Play action to Sproles. Wins. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially if you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended the last drive. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, the good defensive position, able to affect the play. They do go for it. It's wins. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Cameron Jordan in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about 8. Breaking the huddle first and goal as the return team has set him up with golden field position. To throw is Breeze. Being chased out left. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he pushes forward from maybe three down to the six-yard line. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. They'll try and run. Ingram, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Mark Ingram, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Saints add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Lux now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. They picked it up for it. Didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Second and 10 now from the 27. Wentz will try again on second down. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Demario Davis coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. On play action, it's wins, and he's going to go down again. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I'm the highest surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. This is fielded at the 27. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. 
Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Take this one down to about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. It's still a nice play by the defense. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Here we go. The Saints on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Hey, 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 hey. Got it. They'll try to run for the first with England. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Got it! 12, 12, 12. Shotgun now for Breeze. That's complete to Meredith. Touchdown, New Orleans! Cameron Meredith with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Lutz now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. It's a foot race. 30. The 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, 79 yards. And the Eagles get a score closer. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive... Now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. They'll run the angle here to begin the drive. And he'll get this one up to the 26. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get kill, him down. Kill, kill, kill. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big ball, he just ain't that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, 
these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. The Saints on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Breeze to throw. He will run for it, and he will. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's four. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. But that's complete. It's Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. Mission accomplished on that throw. Slant, pick up the first down. I like how he just put it on the receiver. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. How oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Please, please. So after the INT, here's Wentz. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Working from the gun, Wentz. Buying time to his left. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. On now. now they Come face on, a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Shotgun now for Wentz. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. 82, 82. A final shot before half for Wentz. Trying to lay one up deep. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. Coach? Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 24. Now Breeze. He's got a rifle one deep left side. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Breeze again here on second and ten. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Fletcher Cox breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. Go ahead, take a seat. Here we go. Here we go. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. Eleven. 
Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Easy kill, kill. Got it. Monday. They do go for it. It's Breeze. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they drop him for a loss, but penalty markers are on the field. Let's see about the call. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Wins. This complete left side to Aguilar. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Toss play to Foles. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Darren Sproles taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Right there. Yeah, oh, it's blocked. Yeah, Elliott now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. The 30, 10, touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there with what will be called a 107-yard return. And the Saints add on to their lead. And as we talk to special teams coaches, that theme of being aggressive continues to come through, doesn't it? When they moved the kickoff back to the 35, it was going to cut down on the number of opportunities. But if you've got a special guy, you give him the green light no matter where he fields in the end zone. And in this case, it paid off handsomely. He fielded it deep in the range of emotions. Maybe like, oh, no, don't. And then all of a sudden you see him break it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, way to go. Yeah, sometimes you have to remind your head coach that he approved the green light for bringing it out from deep in the end zone. And that's exactly why he did. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Wentz going to throw. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. He got 29 yards that time. So right, one play, on and they're Let's already go. just shy of midfield. Three down, three down. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. A.J. Klein in there to record another sack. They're sixth of the afternoon. Come on. Come on. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Able to shake him up. And pressure gets to him again. Demario Davis in there to drop him. And sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Eagles coming up here on a third and long. So Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack.
from the gun. It's Wins. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. This is fielded at the seven. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. <laughs> we'll see what his offense can do. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Breeze. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target. And it's third down. One. We got three. Here's Breeze. And Breeze is going to go down in the end zone. A safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. And easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and Mike, ten Mike, right at the 30. All right, Lions. Here, here. 82, 82. Now Wentz. The reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ram, ram, ram. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. He was looking for Matthews that time. And it's second down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Back to the air on second down. Wins. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Try to go back to Matthews there, and it's third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And he connects with Ertz. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 18 yards there and a first down. Now, Wentz again. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, they're always trying to get him the football. Wentz again here on second and ten. Forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. 
Watch him do it. It's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very well. You don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just kind of a jab in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. To throw, it's Wentz. Dancing to his left. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up. His time has now run out on this third quarter of play. The Eagles on third down. Just one for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Wentz now to throw. A jump off to Scrolls. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Into the red zone. Wentz. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game charts. And on, now it's not go. just execution. It's not just performance. Rap, rap, rap. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So statistically... And he's in! Touchdown, Eagles! Josh Adams taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are back within a score. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Elliott Good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Let's go, let's go. Hey, easy. 53, 53. Ready for cut. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Shotgun now for Breeze. Fighting through pressure. Call it a pickup of seven, and they're going to face a third down. The Saints on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's complete to Meredith. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. On first and ten, here's Breeze. Over the middle, that's caught by Meredith. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Easy. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Got it! 11. Breeze to throw on second down. That's caught by Meredith right side. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Under. On first down, Breeze. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Chris kill, kill, Long kill, kill, kill. in there to bring him kill, down kill, kill, kill. for a loss of seven. Let it, let it, let it. Got it. Now Breeze throwing on second down. Wide open receiver complete. 
And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Four down, four down. Check, check. 11, 11, 11, 11. Kill, 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 kill. Here's Breeze to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wentz now on first down. Flush to his right. And this is Ertz with it. Right side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Time for a break. We'll come back. See what transpires after this. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Throwing on first is Wentz. This complete left side to Aguilar. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of six there on first. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Back to throw. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. He's back to throw. Steps away to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. They'll look to throw. Out to his left. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by a former first round pick, Patrick Robinson. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball. So don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. signal for a timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack to throw his breeze and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game okay let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front what's that old saying those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Ready. Yellow lady, yellow lady. 21, 21. Breeze to throw. There's that man again. It's complete. 
And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Back to throw Breeze. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being good. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead now stands at 13. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams...